In 15 minutes, you can decide the fate of the United States election. Stay tuned to find out how in the amazing game, By the Vote. This is Legendary Tactics. Today we're taking a quick look at the game By the Vote by Koozie's Publications. By the Vote is a frenetic game lasting exactly 15 minutes or less. You're on a timer for this game to get the required 170 electoral seats. The way you do this is by purchasing the states that are up for election on the card row. You are competing against your fellow opponents to get the most amount of money on each state's worth. Now the game would be good with just that, but Koozie's added in a very excellent concept, the swing state. Swing states, shown in yellow, are states that when you win them, you may pick from your opponent any state of your choice. Generally, this will be the highest rated state, but sometimes strategy will be employed if someone else is getting close to the required 170 seats. The game itself is fairly light, easy to learn, and has lower levels of strategy that you do need to employ. I tried this game with three of my children, and we sat down and had a lot of fun playing. My two oldest girls really enjoyed the challenges of trying to outbid and outmaneuver your opponents through the blind bidding stage. Another important part to remember with this game is that your finances are limited, meaning you, everyone starts with this equal amount of money, 10 million at the beginning, then at round four, you are reallocated funds according to how many states you have, which gives you 2 million per state, plus a base salary of 20 million. Then finally, in round seven, there's one more round of payments where you get 30 million plus 2 million per state you own. It's important then to gain some little states, but not by spending too much money. So it's a very delicate balance, which leads to some interesting strategy. I think by far my favorite moment playing this game with my daughters was when, for the state of California worth 55 electoral seats, my daughter and I blind bid the same amount of $21 million each, both thinking it would be enough to oust the other person. It did really show me that this game has just enough strategy to be a very interesting and curious game. I love the fact that it's only 15 minutes, you are literally on a timer, and the game comes full stop when the timer runs out, no matter where you are in the game process. There's just enough strategy here for light fair players to figure out different maneuvers that will ensure that they find victory. Do you spend a lot of money on the high states? Do you save your money and spend them on the swing states to gain when those high states get sent out? There's a lot of back and forth. There's actually a little bit of gambling involved where you have to try and gamble who you're playing against. So you really are playing in this game. You're playing your opponent. You have to know your opponent and how they will respond to those kinds of situations on bidding. So in a lot of ways, it's a poker game. One wish I have is that they would make this game a little more focused on electoral and election politics. What I mean is, you can pretty much take this game and slap any theme on it and the game mechanic will work. I wish there was a way that they could make this game a little more focused on American politics. That being said, I would definitely pull this game out at any time and play with my kids again, older friends, parents. It is a very versatile game. Koozies has done a great job with this game. I recommend it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for our next game review. This is Legendary Tactics.